now it's time for the Thamesman. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the Thamesman. Hello, Alex. Hello, George, down in Los Angeles. How are you? And why are we here? We are here because if you have not seen our beautiful TV program that puts out quality content twice a week. <laughs> yeah, you're liking that, huh? What we do is we have a wheel that spins and it gives us a track. And then George, my old time friend here, and I go head to head and score and see who has got the best track. And the Wheel of Fortune gave us the year 2000 onwards. And I came in with a stonking DC Fontaine's Boys in the Better Land. That was an amazing track, and I can be hard pushed to beat that. And uh, but you know it's it's fun. But so so I'm going. I'm pulling out my a big gun, which is just to post two thousand. Uh, you know, and so this 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 track, we know this track. This is this is one of our favorite bands. We have seen this band. I've seen this band probably more than any other band. Yeah. So. George, uh, tell me who it is. I know it is. It's a Danny Warholz, and it's the second most band I've seen. And for who's, who's um, the first? Ten years my after. My dad. No, cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but my um, but the uh, dear Americans hang in with us because this band is very big in Europe. Yeah, and the rest it, of the world. It, Weirdly, it's 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 known in America, but not as well known as it is in the rest of the world. And they're big. And, and the the track we did before the DC Fontaines is you're right. It's so similar to this attitude feel and hang in there, Americans, because you you know if you if you dig the last track and you like kind of vibey music, this is little. This is a great little corker. And you probably know. This, so this is going to be like Bohemian, like you, and we'll talk about it afterwards. Uh, yeah. But a warning, the video, this is the official video, so we might never get past copyright blocking and things like that. The video does have some nudity in it. It does, doesn't it? It does have some nudity in it. As a wanger. It, it does. And so if you, if, you are, if you are offended by that kind of thing, um, skip ahead. Move on. Move on. Yeah. Well, good, good. Yeah, do it. Yeah. So... All right, so uh, this one is another one for loudness on your headphones. Yes, yes, I'm going up loud on this one. All right, are you ready? Yes. Three, two, yes. one, go.
Yes! <laughs> oh, man, I haven't heard it in headphones for a long time. That's really, really great. Uh, it's so good, isn't it? Like, like it just... Uh, uh, they are. I, I must say, like, for me, I like... Andy Warhol's probably one of my favourite bands. Probably just... Because they're not complicated, they're not, they're just fun. And if you go, if you go to go and see a live band, go and see the Dandy Warhols. They are amazing. They are so, they, are, every they, time, are. they never disappoint live. They, they, no. oh, every time I'm in town, I go and see them. And, yeah. um, you know, and then I, and then, you know, I flew down um, with you and we went yeah. to see them in LA and we've seen, you know, they, and they get this swirl. Yeah. of music going around you, the swirl, and yeah. you could just get transported. And they're, you know, great. That's a great pop tune. Yeah. Right? With yeah. just really well, really well written. I love it. I love it. I love it. I, I read, I saw, I saw an interview, and it was Zia, the keyboardist, and Courtney, 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 Courtney. Um, the Courtney Taylor. Courtney, Courtney Taylor. And they, it made me laugh, because I don't know why I remember, just remember this. Apparently, they asked the guy... Um, the waiter guy naked, and they, they it was a spur of the moment. They said, Look, you know, do you mind getting naked and you know, and serving you know for on, on the video? And he goes, Nah, that'd be fine. And then one of them said, Um, you know, um, I you know, have you got a big wanger? And he apparently said, Yeah, I'm hung like a horse. <laughs> and then when I said, well, every time I see the video, I'm like, Yeah, you are hung like a horse. <laughs> yeah. do, do you watch that video a lot for that moment, by any chance? <laughs> yeah, you know, each, just stuck in my mind because it was hilarious. I and every time I stuck in your mind. And then I yeah, forget about it. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> oh I love that. I, I love that track so much. It was really, really good. I, I mean, I, I, well, let's talk about it more, but but let's just make it take a quick break for our sponsors because this yeah. one we want to talk a bit more about because I've got some more things to want to talk about. So let's just take a break for our sponsor and then we'll come straight back. Australians wouldn't give a castle mine for X for anything else. Excellent. All right. So this this track, Danny Warhol's Bohemian Like You. So do you remember? Did you ever watch that that uh, documentary called Dig? Did oh, you ever watch that? yeah. Of course, I watched Dig. It's Dig. the greatest music um, it's, it's documentary the, it's most, out. It's 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 like Spinal Tap, but for real, isn't it? It is like. Yeah. And for those who don't know, this was uh, released in two thousand and four. It was a documentary. It was a filmmaker followed around two bands for seven years. And it was, they followed around the Dandy Warhols. And at that time, some, at the beginning of that period, very close friends, the Brian Jonestown Massacre. And if you don't know Brian Jonestown Massacre, they were, they've got some great tracks as well. But and they, the, uh, do you remember Joel from the Brian Jonestown Massacre? Mm -hmm. oh, well, yeah. then he worked in Amoeba Music and he's always in the hate. So, you know, you'd just be down the hate or whatever. And there's like, oh, there's Joel, you know, walking around. He's still down there now. But yeah, yeah what? What a film. Seven That's, years it took. Seven years. And, and, and actually, it was when I first came to LA, early, early, you know, 1998, 99, 2000s, uh, I had a really good friend of mine, uh, Jason, you met, you know, um, and he introduced me to the Brian Jones Town Massacre. And so we went to a whole load of gigs, the Brian Jones Town Massacre. And they turn up on this DVD, uh, and um, and uh, it was Brian Jones and Masker's uh, front man, uh, Anton Newcomb, very talented man, uh, had some issues at the time, and would end up having fights with his other bandmates, and things would turn up into chaos, or he'd, he would have arguments with the audience, or he he would strike out of them. It was like it was a troubled time. He was really talented, and. Um, and there's one concert where he he does get lose it a bit, and, and you can hear us shouting in the background. We turn up. No, to the TV no, TV. really. Yeah, and uh, it's not the one where he kicks that girl in the head. Yeah, it was the one where he kicked the girl in the head. And uh, and no. so, but the, the whole point of Dig was it was like it was these two bands who started together, and and Brian Jones and Massacre refused to compromise, 
and go the record label route. And the Dandy Warhols got signed by Capital and got a million dollars. And it's as they diverged and they took their different paths and the tension between that. And it is a great DVD. It's, it, it, it's more than that because Anton from um, uh, the Brian Man, Sam. Brian Jones, everyone knew, including the Dandy Warhols and all the record labels knew he was a genius. Yeah, but he was a self-destructive genius. I mean, you know, he would he refused to record properly. He would put out an album and he would record it in seven days. For, and he got some studio time and then gave it all away for free. And and every time they try to get a you know uh, where you know A and R men and they do a gig and bring everyone in, he blew the gig up. He yeah. just self-destruct. He was a he was a set the most self-destructive musician that it was and dandy's worth who idolized them brian jonestown and Gi brian jonestown took him under the wing watched dandy's who called himself the most well-adjusted band well the Just fact the fact that they're 25 drive. 25 and years later the dandy warhols are still touring i mean and i can drop some pictures in here i went to see them last year uh, may 2019 or oh, well, two, two years ago um at, at the uh, ace hotel in downtown la amazing venue and uh when when next I, I know the front of house engineer chris and um, um, um and they were as good this is 20 their 25th anniversary celebration or something and they are still the same lineup essentially they've had one change one drummer early on they changed out uh but everything else they're the same lineup and they still perform to the highest level they are really well adjusted and and but but great great tunes really fun. yeah 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 and and they um on the on the album dig i remember that um the dandies i don't think knew this the reason why the brits know them is there was a tv advert out with ferrari car in it and for vodafone which is a cell a mobile phone um carrier so they had a f1 car and the dandies tune on top and it was just an iconic little advert and it, you know and so it went into our psyche and then i remember on the dick there's some reporter speaking to the singer and he just says oh well you know you're big in europe and they're just a small little band from portland um and they went what and they go yeah you know you're big in europe <laughs> and then they came to the thames they did reading festival our festival and That's they nice. stepped out and there was like you know sixty thousand people at reading festival and they yeah. just walked out and 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 the brits we pick up these obscure little bands like you know and we love them and the dannies we absolutely adore yeah 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 so yeah it, great yeah. All, all i can say is is it, yeah if 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 you want to go and see a great live band oh and the other thing actually because of covid um the the, the engineer chris who i was speaking about just now he's been recording all all yeah. their shows every the live, every live album yes you it's can easy. donate yeah, yeah, 10 bucks, can't you? 10 bucks, and you will get he's every week he's issuing a remix of, of, of like a live capture, and it sounds live and it sounds great and it's got great energy. And he's been doing it for like probably a year now. And so there's, there's, there's what that's got to be a load of is songs. It on, is it on Bandcamp? I think it's or on the Soundcloud. Website. You have to go to the Danny's website. And, and no, I think it's on. Oh, I'll find the link, or you'll find the link, and we'll put the link down there. Because I mean, for like twenty bucks or whatever, you get for ten bucks. Ten bucks, you get some of the cracking, and they sound amazing. They're absolutely and they're originals, yeah. all of them. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a fan fantastic tune. Well, Brilliant. then I think it's time for us to do a bit of scoring, then, isn't it? So is it absolutely for wangers and bangers, bangers or wangers? <laughs> ah, good. Yeah. So, it's going to be. This is a tough fight because you know you you in your part one had the DC Fontaines, which was cracking track, and and honestly, you know, uh, much further into the two thousands than mine. Mine was only just in the two thousands. Yeah, but um, you just picked a track, which is a motif of mine. Of life, it is. Yeah, yeah. You, you yeah. put them both in the car, and you're driving, and they go back to back. They're like brother and sister. These tracks, they are. They they they're very, really similar. You know, you could, you know, they're in in their their sort of attitude and style, and their, uh, you know, absolutely. So yeah, most, God most... Almighty, how am I going to score this? Because the dandies are so underappreciated in America. Wake up, America! They're one of your best bands out there. Um, oh my. 
God, it's, I'm just, it, I love that track so much. It's coming in at 9.5. Oh, wow. That's a big old score. All I right. love it. I've, I've listened to that album, 13 Songs of Bohemia. I've, I mean, it's just never left. I know. I, I, I have the Dandies, all their albums on constant repeat. I have a, like a, a Dandies Essential playlist that just yeah. plays Dandies tracks to me the whole time. Yeah. You know, it's like when I want to just have fun, I play the Dandies. That's it. You know, no and then there's Zia on Instagram. She's on Instagram. Hello, Zia. And then every, she's really nice and she's chatty. She's always going on about her mugs and whatever. And you can have a chat with her. They're just really approachable and they're all just all round, all great. They are awesome. So what was your score again? 9.5? 9.5. Take 9. it to the moon. Take it to the moon. Okay, right. So you're 9.5. I'm going to, I'm, I'm, oh, you're, you're going to have to temper it, huh? I, I'm honestly, like I said, I know Chris, the front of house engineer. Uh, I think they're one of my favorite bands. I've probably seen no one else more. I'm going to go 9.5 as well. Damn it, man. Yes. Damn it, man. Let's yes. do this. Let, let's put it up there just because we can. It's our show. <laughs> Okay, so, people, are, people are gonna people people are you know gonna rip us for this, but we grew up with the dandies. Yeah, and and if you if you don't know it, you need to. So nine point five, nine point five. Computer scoreboard. What do we have? Hey, that's a nineteen point zero. Holy crap! Oh my god! Oh Maybe we've gone a bit high. We we, we went a bit Billy boastful on that one. A bit Billy okay. boastful on that one. Oh well, I, I tell you what, I can send a link to my friend Chris and go. Look, you won, mate. Oh my god. Look at that. That's well, gonna that's I gonna listen, cause some cause some ructions. I listen to Dandies a lot more than I listen to Led Zeppelin. That's true, actually. Yeah. But I listen to Muse quite a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um the two albums, I think, if you were getting into Dandies, start off with the 13 songs from Bohemia. Yeah. Is that what it's called? No, it's called something else. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> if you could put it, it, oh, it's, it's something like that. If you could yeah. put it down there, yeah, and then yeah, the yeah. other one would be Come Down, right? Thirteen Tales from Urban Bohemia is, I think. Yeah, yeah nearly. Yeah. And then the other is it Come Down? The other album? Uh, I think it's. Uh, let me look. At, well, it's, Welcome to the Monkey House. That was a great album as well. That was a good one, but there was another one. I think at the earlier, the earlier one, the Come Down one or whatever. Anyway, the, I mean, the, I think the, 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 the Danny Warhols Come Down. Was yeah, I think the fir- the 13, 13 songs or whatever that's an album to begin with, and get into that album. It's great, you know. It's a, it's a it has seen you through the summer. That album. That's for true. Good barbecue music, uh, as they say, uh, to drink to. So excellent. That was, superb. That was fun. That was awesome. Okay. So uh, on that's uh that's our sh- that's our show for today. I think isn't yeah. it? Yeah. The the next two the next two are coming up as covers versus original, and uh, um we've got a mini series coming on Stevie Ray Vaughan. So yeah. if anyone's still with us, if they could put any tracks they want from Stevie Ray Vaughan down there, that would be great. Yeah, absolutely. And and also any covers versus originals. If you if you've got a pair of tracks that you think that needs to be versus challenged, let's do it. Yeah, I'll give you a pair of tracks. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> No, no, won't. no, won't. no, that's not uh, very, uh, no, no. very, very steam ng. Excellent. All right, mate. Well, it's been lovely. Take care. All right, mate. No, I really enjoyed that. Really, really enjoyed that. It was nice to get uh, the dandies and the DC Fontaines there. Well, maybe, there. maybe we can find a good excuse to do a bit more of that stuff because that was cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, mate. Be well. Peace out. See you on the flip side. <laughs> Television Grace Mulligan's back in the farmhouse kitchen, creating a few surprises as she's baking again. <laughs> sure, <girl. laughs> That's where we went. <laughs> <laughs>